This is the kind of week that I feel like I don't need to spend any time outside. Yeah. <laughs> I can spend all the time indoors and I'd be happy. It's not even a moment because the temperature is looking so much better in other parts of the country. Oh Yeah, indeed. As we take a look at the big picture, the high pressure is centered right over uh, Missouri and you head to the north of it and it's hot. You find the Twin Cities at 97, Omaha 97, and the southern periphery of it still hot. Dallas at 101. Now down in southern Texas, a little bit of improvement, and we're going to talk about that here in just a moment. But you can see excessive heat warnings from the Twin Cities, St. Louis, Tulsa, Memphis, Dallas, and down in New Orleans as well, as it is hot and miserable all in the area in purple. Now earlier we had a, a tropical storm, Harold, and make landfall earlier. And uh, the first real system of the season to make landfall. So our very own Mike Scanlon went down there to check it out. Mike, I know you're near the Corpus Christi or Christi area earlier. Where, what's your current location right now? Yeah, Mike, this is North Beach. Um, you're seeing North Beach right now. This is along the north side of uh, this is right where Corpus Christi Bay meets uh, Highway 181 here. So um, the waves crashing in. You know, we, uh, we had quite a bit of rain and even some lightning earlier, some supercells coming ashore. Uh, right now, just watching the onshore flow batter the coastline here, and uh, high tide is at about 10, 15 p.m., so hopefully it doesn't get any higher than this because most of the uh, North Beach area here is already swamped. And, and so I, I imagine flooding being the major concern right now. Uh, have a lot of people kind of bunkered in and, you know, kind of uh, stayed away from this? There, there are many people here on uh, the North Beach area, um, in the city of Corpus Christi, I mean, it's pretty much just business as usual. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't too much in the way of flooding. Uh, there were some, a couple of squalls and some really, really significant wind gusts. But, uh, you know, all in all, really, uh, for this time of year, this is kind of a best-case scenario here for Corpus Christi Metro. For sure. Absolutely. All right, Mike, I appreciate it. A lot of you know, vacationers still down that way, want to enjoy some nice weather. As we look at radar, we still have this band of precip coming to the Corpus Christi area. But once this moves further away from the area, uh, then conditions will begin to improve all across southern Texas. Meanwhile, our area, we could see some scattered showers and thunderstorms enter the area uh, this weekend, end of the weekend, into early next week, which could provide some relief from the heat. The 8 to 14 day outlook, which takes us uh, the last weekend of August into early September. We're looking at temperatures still to be above normal, but nowhere near the heat that we're experiencing right now, because normal high is 92. And personally, I'll take 92 degrees any day compared to what we're dealing with right now. But look at the temperature dip down into the upper 80s by early next week. So the weekend, some changes beginning to take place. 101 on Saturday, 93 on Sunday. Chance for some thunderstorms early in the morning, then again Sunday night and a Monday morning. And right now it's just hot, miserable. Today's high is uh, was 100. We're going to be back to 102. 103 on Thursday, 104 on Friday, and then relief next week, which will be a much welcome sight. Now to